fairies, dwarves, goblins, and their kind have been written about and spoken of in every part of the world for hundreds of years. They have many names in many different languages, but they prefer to be called the strangers, the good neighbors, or the little people. They can be gentle and generous or dark and dangerous, but even the friendliest is unreliable. Few humans see fairies or hear their music, but many find fairy rings of dark grass scattered with toadstools left by their dancing feet. Elves have been known to humans for more than 2,000 years. They are much older than fairies. In medieval Europe, a fairy was a human woman with magical powers. It was a few hundred years before the word fairy was also used to describe elves. The image of fairies with gauzy wings did not appear until the late 1700s. Now, either the words elves or fairies are used for the little people of the woods and fields. There are lots of different fairies. Trooping fairies, such as the Patu Peyarehe of the Maori of New Zealand, live in trees and appear in mists. Like elves everywhere, they love music and dancing. They will sometimes teach humans to work magic, but if they call from far away, any humans who follow risk becoming lost in the woods. Some fairies are solitary, such as leprechauns. They are very rich, and humans may try to persuade a leprechaun to lead the way across meadows and marshes to his secret stash of gold. He will always trick them into looking away. Then he will vanish, leaving them lost and bewildered and with no treasure. When blackberry picking, it's important to always leave a few for the little people. Some elves are very tiny, while others are tall. And elfin women can even occasionally seem human. Seen from behind, though, they have no backs and are hollow, like a hollow tree. Fairies and humans have a long history together. In stories, good fairies bring blessings and help, although there are often conditions attached. Cinderella must be brought home by midnight or her beautiful dress will turn to rags. A farmer who is paid by the fairies for help or provisions must not look at the money until he gets home or it will turn into dead leaves. Then again, he may be paid in dead leaves that will turn into gold when he reaches home. Pixies, who are tiny, always young, and dressed in green, will help humans, especially if they are poor or are being mistreated by others. However, they can be tricky and mischievous if they are annoyed or not properly rewarded. In fact, to be pixie-led means to be lost. Many little people appreciate a tribute or a gift. Traditionally, people put out a little bread from a new loaf or, when the cows are being milked, allow a little milk to run onto the ground for the little people to take. The leprechaun is the fairy shoemaker of Ireland 
whose tapping hammer gives away his presence. Fairies included in some books and movies include The Complete Book of the Flower Fairies by Cicely Mary Barker, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, The Little People Stories of Fairies, Pixies, and Other Small Folk by Neil Phillip, The Movie Hook from 1991, and The Last Leprechaun from 1998. You can also find out more about fairies through the Fantasy Encyclopedia by Judy Allen, forward by Jonathan Stroud, which is an excellent book. Thank you so much for tuning in with me here at Mystic Ashram. Till next time, I wish you many, many blessings.